What's up, spectators? Welcome back to the episode of Layton's Mystery Journey. Last time we finished the case on the boat for the Temptatic, and I don't think we have any left, so we must be getting something new. Oh, yes, case nine's been added. Okay, here we go. Maybe we'll finally get to do something with Layton, but I don't know at this point. Despite the Godwin's Day bank holiday, Inspector Hastings is in a flap. It's his wife's birthday. Jeez, really? Okay, here we go. Well, now I've finished my book, I think it's time for a nice cup of tea. But I just had some tea not long ago, didn't I? In that case, perhaps a siesta. Just a little idea. Instead of being bone idle, how about sorting out the dog's breakfast of a desk? Oh no, Cheryl, I'm afraid I couldn't possibly. Not today. You couldn't possibly? Because you couldn't possibly be bothered, you mean? No, no, Cheryl, that's not it. Miss Layton has a very good reason for not tidying up. Come on then, pinstripes laid on me. Because it's Godwin's Day. It's one of the annual bank holidays we enjoy in London. That is a very good reason. Of course. Godwin's Day has a very ancient story behind it, you know. Many, many years ago, right here in the capital, St. Godwin appeared to be the king of the land. Your majesty, your subjects are exhausted because they are working too hard. Do you not see them suffering? The king looked around the land and saw that the saint was right, but didn't give a shit because he's a king. Kings are assholes. Feeling ashamed that he'd failed to notice his subjects suffering in his golden toilet, the king made the day a holiday from that star that from that year forward, and he named it for the saint. Woo! Everyone got one day off. How exciting. What a dick. Obviously, nobody knows if that's really what happened, but anyway, today is a bank holiday. Blah, blah, blah. That's right. As a Londoner, it would be a terrible faux pas to do any work at all today. These traditions are very important, you know. You're such a modern, forward-thinking woman, yet you still hold the old customs dear. You're... Okay. You gotta lay it off a little bit, man. You mean she's a procrastinator. And anyway, Pinstripes, if this is a holiday, what are you doing in the office? Oh, I just came to see Miss Layton because I love her. I'm not working. Now then, miss, would you like another cup of tea? Not working at all. This isn't work, Cheryl. Looking after Miss Layton isn't a chore. It's my raise. You know what? I don't remember how to pronounce this. But yes, reason for living. Well, seeing as I don't pay you a salary, you're right. Being here isn't work for you. Slave, you don't pay him? Well, he said he didn't mind. He said he'd be my assistant anyway. Absolutely, I don't mind at all. This is a simply, this is a simply spiffing job. Did you just lie down in the road and let her drive over you? Is that where the pinstripes come from? Oh, we have a visitor. Wonder who it could be on God Wednesday. You're here! Thank goodness I found you. I was ready to throw in the towel if your office was shut as well. Oh dear, you seem very flustered. Is it a case? Something grisly? Grizzly doesn't come close. In all my years being a detective, I've never come across a situation that's stickier than this one. It sounds like we need to brace ourselves. All right, Inspector, fill us in. Yes, well, it's a... Uh, Delicate, you see. I don't like to think about it, to be honest. The thing is... It's the better half's birthday today. What does that have to do with the case? It only happens once a year, see, and, um... Well, to put it bluntly, I forgot because of a bad husband. I haven't got her a present or a cake or anything. Because I suck at being a husband. I wouldn't be surprised if she gave me the... Heave ho, unless I can do something to fix this. So I need you, cat. I need those little gray cells of yours to get me out of this mess. Mm -mm -mm. 
Cute title, though. I was anticipating a case the likes of which I've never seen the likes of which. And you give me a marriage rescue operation? Not your cup of tea. Would it be your Cheryl? Talk about being used as a dog's body. Quite right, miss. Nobody likes to be used as a dog's body, do they? All right, you yes man. How did this happen, Inspector? How did you manage to forget such an important day? I've got no one to blame but myself. I've just been so busy these past months, it totally slipped my mind. Months? I marked it on the calendar and everything, precisely so I wouldn't end up in this situation. Well, it was on his calendar. And where is your calendar? In my study at home. And I've got one in the office at the yard. Well, it's no wonder you didn't notice it then. Why do you think that, miss? Because it's a holiday, yeah? Guy? Elementary, my dear Ernest. The inspector just told us he's been extremely busy. Which means he would have had no time for sitting in his study at home and probably precious little time in his office as well. He's been out and about. Of course. He hasn't even had time to look at his calendar to notice the reminder. Exactly. I haven't been getting back home until the small hours recently. Which is another reason I was thinking I'd better make an effort this year for her birthday. Well, it's not too late, is it? The day isn't over yet. That's what I thought, Sunshine, so I've been all over the city looking for something for her. I've been to the gas stations! But it's Godwin's Day, isn't it? Every shop I look at is closed. I can't buy her a present and I can't get her a cake. Even the bakers and the like are shut today. I can't get a table at any restaurant either. In fact, this place is about the only establishment I've come across that's open. Well, we're not technically open today. I've got until this evening to come up with something. I'm telling you, I've never seen my little lemon so livid. That doesn't leave much time, does it? No, it doesn't. I've been out all day looking for a present, you see. And now here I am, no better off. You've got to help me out, cat. Help me find a present for her, please. I see your predicament, but it's a bank holiday, you know. Mm. Please! Mm, well, mm, God Wednesday. I think we should try to help, miss. After all, there's nothing sadder than a birthday forgotten by someone you live. What do you think, Cheryl? Leave me out of this. Well, I suppose, seeing as it's you, Inspector, I can make a special exception. You know, triple overtime. You're a lifesaver, cat. It's not exactly detective work, is it? It is if I want it to be. Any mystery solved is my motto, as you know. The only mystery is how we got you to agree to agree to help. Inspector Hastings, here you are. How did he know? What is it, Constable? Let me see. Uh, oh, yes. It says here there's been a break in at the city center. The perpetrator's on the run, apparently. And he left a note. Where is it? Here it is. Catch me if you can, you stupid pigs. Wow. That's a challenge, is it? Right, hooker? I'm on my way. You go on ahead to the scene. Yes, sir. My marriage be damned. This is clearly more important. A break-in? Oh, dear. Working on Godwin's Day. What was the thief thinking? Not what you're thinking, that's for sure. Sorry, cat. I'll have to go down there. Of course. You can't ignore blatant goading. Too right. But we haven't worked out anything for the missus yet, have we? Leave that little problem with us, and you go catch that thief. You can't leave the people of London in the lurch. That's just not you, is it? No, it isn't. Thanks, cat. It's a tough job, but someone's gotta do it. Right then, the present's in your capable hands. Yeah, right. He's probably gonna go to the track and bet on some horses. I bet this was all a big ruse. I mean, Booker, just knowing that he'd be here, he was probably downstairs. And he intentionally did this. He left in rather a hurry, didn't he? And we have to hurry now, too. We must come up with something for Inspector Hastings' wife before the end of the day. I'm not sure what we can do to avert disaster there, miss, are you? 
We just have to think of a present so wonderful it makes her forget all about the fact that he let it slip his mind. If we can do that, I'm sure he'll be able to smooth things over. The problem is, how to find an impressive enough present on a bank holiday? Quiet. How do we do that? The inspector said he'd be trawling the streets since this morning. Well, inaction certainly won't help us find the answer. Let's go out along Chancellor Lane and see what we can find. You must be the detec d d detective. Detective, I presume. That's right. Can I help you? We've spoken before, I think. Catriel, isn't it? And this must be Ernest with you, and Shirley, or something. Who are you? I'm Felicity. Felicity Hastings. Alright, calm down. You're Inspector Hastings' wife? That's right. He's always telling me how much you've been helping him. Well, yes, we've worked on a number of cases for him now. We're working on right now, aren't we? Well, uh, sorry. I mean, my husband has nothing but good things to say about you, I assure you. He thinks you're a very talented detective, you know. Well, I don't know if I'd say London's best, but... I don't know if anyone would. She certainly didn't. Apparently, you have a unique personality and a knack for solving difficult cases. That means you're barking. And I hear you're a genius when it comes to puzzles. This is a good one that I know. Why don't you give it a try? Ah, why don't we just re-gift her a puzzle, hmm? Today is this preschooler's birthday. There were some number-shaped candles for the cake to show her age, but they've been dropped on the floor and now they're in pieces. If you arrange three of them together, they should make the right number. Slide the pieces of candle onto the box on the right to make the number. Mm-hmm. 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 I see. This should do it, I think. What's the matter with me today? Really? Hmm. Why? Hmm. Okay. Then I will try. Hmm. Certainly not four. Well, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. That works. This should do it, I think. Not good, Catriel, not good. Bizarre. I don't know how it took so long to get a three figured out. I was amazed how many numbers I could even come up with. Well, I can see why my husband calls on your services so frequently. She's making it sound very sketchy. Like, I see Hastings hangs out with you a lot, huh? He says many good things about you. Ha! If only all problems were so easily solved. Like my marriage. Do you have something on your mind, Miss Hastings? As a matter of fact, I do. I'm rather down in the dumps today. Down in the poops. London can be a very gloomy place when you're not feeling your best. Sorry to hear that you're not happy, Felicity. I hope that changes for you soon. Bye! Aren't you sweet? I don't suppose I can bend your ear, could I? Of course you could. I'd be glad to hear your troubles. 
It's just that my husband's job is so demanding, you see. I know it's a wonderful thing that he does, and I do support him. But just once in a while, it'd be nice if he thought about me a little. You know, it's my birthday today. And because it's a bank holiday, I hoped we'd be able to spend some time together and celebrate for once. Of course, birthdays are very important, I think. Of course, I was fuming when I found out he'd forgotten. Then he got all dramatic and said, I'll get you a present if it's the last thing I do, and ran off. Well, a present would be nice, but the truth is... Sorry, listen to me. I've done nothing but grumble and growls. I thought I could pop out to the hairdresser and maybe get an ice cream on the way home to cheer myself up, but everywhere's shut, of course. I suppose I'll just have to try and forget all about it and go home with my tail between my legs. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Thanks for listening. The poor woman's very upset, isn't she? Yes, Inspector Hastings said she was angry, but she didn't seem angry to me. Not so much a bloodhound as a melancholy. <laughs> we must find a good present, if not for Inspector Hastings, for Felicity herself. Hear, hear. I wonder what would be good. We didn't ask what sort of thing she likes, did we? I suppose an outfit of some kind or some jewelry would be the obvious choice. Just the sort of thing we might find at the boutique down the road. Why don't we have a look? Um. Okay, it was pretty much already there for me. What a stroke of luck, this little shop being open on Godwin's Day. That must be why it's called the Lucky Clover. That old lady we often bump into said it was unusual opening times, didn't she? Are you sure it's really open? The woman who runs it might just be stock taking or something. Well, it's certainly not bustling with customers, it's true. There's Miss Price, the owner over there. Let's go and ask her. Oh, Miss Price, you look lovely today. Welcome, feel free to... No, what am I thinking? What do you want? It's unusual to find a shop open on Godwin's Day. It's actually very fortuitous because... I'm not open. Oh, but we saw the door was ajar, so we thought. I just came to pick up some things, that's all. I won't be here for long. The shop is closed today. So you won't sell us anything, you mean? I'm sorry, no. I'm on my way somewhere. Actually, it's a bank holiday after all. No one works on Godwin's Day, do they? I'll have to ask you to come back another time. Oh, I see. Fuck you. What a pity. We've come away empty-handed. Well, I guess we'll have to rob her. I really thought we'd struck gold when we found the Lucky Clover open. Does that mean clothes and accessories are off the list of possibilities then? What a pickle. We've embarked on a real hopeless mission here, haven't we? What's our next move? We'll just have to see if we can find another shop that is open. Like where? Well, there are a few other shops around Chancellor Lane Corner we could try, aren't there? It's worth a shot. Let's go and see what's next. So, let's see. Are any of these shops open? The restaurant seems to be shut, miss. Everyone wants to take a holiday when they can, I suppose. 
Isn't that the Lipsky brothers over there? Perfect! Alex could sell us a birthday cake for Mrs. Hastings. Do you think the patissier is open? Let's go and ask. Bratsy, that will not work! But you're way stupid! We seem to have caught them in the middle of an argument. Alex, Hans, what are you quarreling about? It's you! Good at you, Camry Jim! We tried to solve a difficult puzzle! Maybe you help us? I would just do your own thing. It's Godwin's Day or whatever the heck it is. In the picture, you can see a cake in the shape of a number six. You need to cut the cake in a straight line to make two numbers. How could you cut the cake to make the largest possible total if you were to add the two numbers together? What would the total be? In the shape of a number six. In a straight line to make two numbers. Well, ten's a possibility, of course. Is it really so simple? Well, I can give it a shot. This puzzle's got some bite. <laughs> this dog won't hunt, eh? <laughs> yes, I figured that'd be too simple. There must be a way for me to look at this at a different angle, and I'll see exactly what I have to do. Hmm, moving it around. I could maybe make it a two, so 12? No, that doesn't, could be. 12? Wait, how did I see, wait. Ah! I eat puzzles like this for breakfast. <laughs> I haven't got my paw in today. Hmm. The numbers you will make by cutting the cake are both single digits. Yeah. Obviously. What? Okay. If you turn six around, it becomes a nine. Yeah. Oh! I think I might know what you're saying. 91. Hmm. This puzzle's got some bite. Oh, screw you. <laughs> this dog won't hunt, eh? Cut it straight to make two numbers. Think about how to cut it so that you make a nine. How to cut it so that you make a nine. What do you mean, how to cut it? It's already a nine. What are you talking about? Cakes are not flat. Oh, oh, that's pretty smart. Oh, I feel pretty stupid now. Oh, yay, I love feeling stupid. This puzzle's got some bite. No! You do not tell me this. You shut up. No. If you cut it in the middle, it becomes 99. What? What are you talking about? That is correct. Don't you lie to me. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh my god, what is this? Okay, so this will feel a little foolish, but I forgot the rule, and you were supposed to add the two numbers together. Yeah. Yeah. That's stupid. I'm stupid. A good puzzle is something you have to chew over. They do call me Sherlock, she comes for nothing. Shut up, I'm in no mood. Yeah, yeah. It's dumb birthday. St stupid Lipskies. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. This way of cutting cakes is not good, it makes me uncomfortable. So what are you both doing here today? No, Bratsy and me, we're going out. 
So the patissier isn't open today then. Try sighing a bit louder, pinstripes. Maybe they didn't hear. And what about the Elizabeth Tower? Is there never any maintenance or work to carry out on the clocks or Big Ben on Good Wednesday? God Wednesday. No, oh, yes, sometimes, but I adjust all clocks carefully yesterday. Today is no work day. Bratsy and me never have holiday at the same time, so we arranged for a long time ago to do something. Oh, that's sweet. Well, that sounds lovely. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about staying at home for relaxing instead, but Bratsy wants to go out, so Bratsy must go out. Sometimes it is nice just to stay in, isn't it? What are you doing today, detective? You want to see us for something? No, yes, we're doing a favor for Inspector Hastings. He's in a bit of a tough spot. No, yes. Careful, cat, it's catching. It's his wife's birthday today, you see. But he's been so busy solving crimes that he hasn't got her a present or a cake or anything. This man is too busy, always running around like chicken without head. We are very grateful to Inspector. Maybe there is something we can do to help. We wouldn't want to inconvenience you. You're just on your way out, aren't you? I'm sure we'll manage something, don't you worry. Good luck! Are you giving me lip? Please buy interesting and fun gift for Inspector's wife. Thank you. We'll do our best. I hope the two of you have a fun evening. Well, it looks like a cake isn't gonna happen either, so we'll have to think of something else. I wonder how the inspector's getting along with the case he was called to, though. Even if we manage to find a present in time, it won't do if the inspector himself isn't available. No, that's true. Perhaps we should find him and let him know how we're getting on. How will we find him, though? Do you know where he is? Let's go to Scotland Yard, and if he's not there, we can ask where to find him. I can't believe at the end of this whole thing, it'll be, you should spend time together. <laughs> hmm. It's been a very long time since I've looked at the wardrobe. How many, how many farthings do, oh, I have two. Ooh, okay. Hold on a second. What do I want? What do I want? Hmm. After very careful deliberation with fashion consultant Briny, I've established that this is indeed the next best one I could be having. And it's called the dating dress. Okay. Well, there we go. It's about time for a change-up. I love it! Of course you love it, because I chose it! With, you know, the help of fashion consultant Briny. Yes, yes. All right, head to Scotland Yard. Okay, go! Ride the- ride the bike! Oh, I gotta- that's right. You've arrived at Scotland Yard. You don't suppose that Scotland Yard is closed today as well, do you? Of course not, Ernest. Criminals don't take the day off, so neither can the police. No rest for the wicked. I wonder if the, 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 I wonder if Inspector Hastings is back here already. I do hope he's managed to catch that burglar. We could ask that Bobby outside the building if he knows. I see you don't have the day off even though it's a bank holiday, PC Beat. Dropping the sick beats, PC beats. Quite right, miss. Godwin's day means nothing to us coppers. Ah. But we all knew that we were getting into this game, so no complaints. Keeping the public safe is our number one priority, as you know. What a noble attitude. Not that I'd say no to a lion if the opportunity presented itself, of course. I am only human. But the good people of London come first. You must have our priorities straight. Well, I think you're doing a wonderful job, officer. On behalf of all Londoners, I thank you. All right, could you guys settle down? You're too kind, lad. You're too kind. 
Let's keep stroking each other's egos. I don't suppose you know if Inspector Hastings has come back to the yard yet, do you? I do apologize, madam, but I have only just arrived at my post. I have yet to see the inspector today. I'm telling you, he's betting on horses, this guy. Well, perhaps there might be somebody inside who knows. Let's go in and have a look. Well, I think it's been around 30 minutes. I can't really say for sure because I, I got stuck on that puzzle and whatnot and, and choosing outfits. So I'm not sure how long it's been, but I think it's been close to 30 minutes. So I'm going to end this video here. So stay tuned for the next one. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.